Wondering where you could relax and enjoy the beauty of nature? Well, wonder no more for Negros Oriental is the place to be. Negros Oriental is a province in the Philippines located in the central Visayas region. Its capital is the city of Dumaguete. You can get to Dumaguete via land, sea, or air travel. The most convenient way is by taking a flight either from Manila or Cebu. Travel time is approximately an hour and 30 minutes. Negros Oriental is home to a number of breathtaking natural wonders. For our first stop, we found ourselves in this quiet, beautiful beach in Siaton. The municipality of Siaton is a first-class municipality which has nearly 90,000 population. It is the southernmost part of the province of Negros Oriental and is about 50 kilometers away from Dumaguete. To get to Siaton from Dumaguete, you may take Sarah's bus or any regular bus. Siaton has a long stretch of amazing beaches that tourists could definitely enjoy, like this one. Imagine waking up to this gorgeous view every day. Sunset. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Mmm. I can stay here all day, enjoying the fresh food, the view, and the heat. Who misses Canadian winter anyway? I'm with my brother! <laughs> Valencia is located 9 kilometers west and uphill of the provincial capital Dumaguete City. It is known as the Little Baguio of Negros. It has a cooler climate compared to other average municipalities due to its high elevation. On the way, we pass by the Sulphur Mountain, which has gained popularity among tourists due to the steamy effects. Just don't mind the foul smell like rotten eggs. Hold your breath, take a quick shot, and off you go. Anything for the gram? The municipality is also the site of geothermal power stations. It generates electricity that supplies the needs of Negros, Panay, and some areas of Cebu. Valencia is gifted with abundant natural wonders, including amazing falls like the Pulang Batu Falls. To get to the town proper of Valencia, you will need to take a ride via a local transportation called Jeepney, which will be available in Dumaguete City. Travel time will be approximately 20 to 30 minutes for 12 pesos. Once at Valencia, you must take a motorcycle ride called Habal Habal that will take you to Pulang Bato for another 20 minutes with a short hike. The term Pulang Bato is a dialect phrase that literally means red rock. This flows 30 meters to a basin surrounded of red rocks. The unique 
reddish orange hue of the rocks is due to the sulfur deposits in the water, which entices one to take a cool dip in the catch basin. They offer rentals for cottages ranging from 300 to 600 pesos, gazebo house for 3,000 per night for four person, or table with umbrella for 200 pesos. They have free parking for guests. Hi, I'm here at Chosen Cafe. Come, let's take a look. Chosen Cafe is a must-see spot. It's like there's something just so comforting and serene about the place. It is located in Barangay Malaunay. Chosen means Pinili in Tagalog is an up name to this enchanting place, which looked like it was particularly and thoughtfully placed at such a scenic spot to afford tourists the chance to experience tranquility. You get to breathe the fresh cold air and take in all the positive vibes of the place and forget about everything that weighs you down. Well, at least for that moment. I highly recommend this place for when you're doing a reflection or in the midst of making life-changing decisions. Or to just have fun with your families and friends. This cafe doesn't only provide a place of respite, but also serves different variants of coffee. And as their slogan goes, take a breath, one cup at a time. And that, my friends, is some random U track lying on the side of the road. And as if I haven't gotten enough of the panoramic sights of Valencia, here we are again in another highland spot called Vista Panoramica. In here, you can sit quietly and hear as the nature breathes through the chirping of the birds or soft sound of the wind. It's a good place to chill and relax. Our last leg for the day trip is at Tierra Alta that is also considered to be the Santorini of the Philippines with its magnificent and modern architecture. It offers fascinating overlooking view from 800 feet above sea level. It is located in the mountains of Valencia, particularly in Barangay Palimpinon, around 20 minute drive from Dumaguete. Can you just imagine how gorgeous the sunset will be from this view?
just when I thought I have seen enough of Valencia. I was again pleasantly surprised to have found this beauty hidden in the lush forest. I could almost imagine as if, by some mystical force of nature, this beauty just came to be. For some reason, this place reminds me of the Avatar movie. Maybe because of the abundance of greenery like that in the movie. It is 20 minutes away from the Dumaguete City Airport. A great getaway place for relaxation and fun with your family and loved ones. Forest Camp offers cold spring pools, cottages for day use, rooms for overnight stay, function halls for seminars, and a restaurant for dining. They also have spaces where mountaineers can put up their tents for their rest from treks to the nearby tourist destinations like the Mount Talinis. Surely, this place gives you more than one reason to come and visit it. I have been lucky to see some of the most fascinating natural wonders in the world and this definitely has got to be in my list for the most enchanting natural paradise I have seen. And as the forest comes, welcome board says, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but time. Forest comes should definitely be in your itinerary. And whenever you're in the Philippines, don't forget to try their lechon. And more on my favorite topic which is food, here is one local event that both locals and tourists look forward to every Sunday, the Paunayan. The Paunay Farmer's Market showcases a wide array of goods for sale from the fresh fruits and veggies harvested from Valencia and its neighboring towns to food varying from local delicacies to international dishes. This is one enjoyable market to visit with your families indeed.
Now I could say there's more to see and taste in Valencia. I love Chada Valencia. And last but not the least is Dumaguete City. The first time I visited this city was in 1999 to take the entrance exam at the Suleiman University. Though I managed to pass the required score for accountancy, I decided to stay in Zamboanga. My brother and his family moved here a couple of years ago, and so I'm able to visit the city again. One of my favorite places to visit whenever I travel is the city's cathedral. St. Catherine of Alexandria Cathedral Parish, better known as Dumaguete Cathedral, is the seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Dumaguete. It is also one of the famous landmarks in Dumaguete. Dumaguete has gained more popularity in the recent years as it has become a great place for all touristy activities including exploration, relaxation, and food trips. More on food, you can't miss trying its famous sequate. Hmm, kalami. This restaurant reminds me of Mexico, as it is Mexican-inspired. When you're in Dumaguete, be sure to try their Silvanas at Sans Rival. It's so yummy! And 
this whole fun trip won't be made possible without the help of my dear brother Nino and his wife Angie. If you're looking for a local tour guide who can show you around Dumaguete and Valencia on a motorcycle, feel free to reach out to my brother. I will post his contact number on the description box below. Dumaguete certainly proves to be a great Dumaguetaway. This trip has been nothing short of amazing. I came here feeling like I was running low on battery, and thanks to this whole experience, I am now feeling recharged. Thank you, Negros Oriental. This video is in memory of my dear niece, Rio. And this has been Tyne Coliada Martinez. Thanks for watching.